Hey guys, so I'm back to another video. And today is day two of the Amer uh, Amazing UK series. Um, if you guys have seen the last episode, you would know I'm staying here in UK Town Plaza. Today is kind of the last day I'm staying in. I'll tell you guys the arrangement in the next episode tomorrow. Anyway, uh, fun fact, the hotel doesn't come with a free... Um, breakfast, so we're making breakfast ourselves. So let's see our homemade breakfast. Let's go. We got some blueberries, we got some Marks and Spencer cookies. Marks and Spencer cookies is actually really cheap in the UK, guys. If you guys didn't know, so should buy some if you're coming to the UK. We got some drinks, we got tea, hot chocolate, and more tea. I'm gonna eat, and then after I eat, I'll tell you the amazing plan for today. Sorry, so I'm actually just gonna tell you while walking. Okay. And so right now we're going to a professional football team stadium and this is going to be unlike the japanese one right we're not just going to be outside the stadium we're going on the stadium tour which stadium you may ask not bristol city no tottenham hotspur yes the champions league finalists in recent times and yes i know i'm a villa fan but we just can't go to birmingham right it's too it's, ju it's just too far so hopefully I can show you some cool things inside the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium lockers. We might even see the stadium and the pitch itself. So let's go. We're taking a bus 259. Taking it obviously all the way to the famous White Hot Lane. That's our bus right there. We're sitting at the front door so hopefully I can take some good shots. That's the St. Pancreas Station. Wow, look at this nice view we've got right. I this is completely, if you, if you watched my Hong Kong vlogs before, this is completely different to Hong Kong. If you've been to Hong Kong, you know. Wow. We're slowly seeing some apartments. Also guys, please don't think I'm a fake fan. No. I still love Aston Villa dearly. It's just that it's not going to be possible for me to make it to a Birmingham district. Or at least go to the Villa Park district uh, this trip, so my best chance to show you guys content is to go to a club stadium that is obviously in the prem Tottenham Hotspur court so yeah, just to make sure you guys um, I'm still a, a true Aston Villa fan we just passed a Tesco and an Aldi unfortunately I can't just get off and check for Prime that's the how a bus works I guess I think I see the stadium we're getting off right here at the stop Tottenham Sports Center. But I'll stop. Look at this bad boy right here. Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. We uh, my team, Aston Villa, we won here this year 2023 live stream on the Nipty One channel. You should go ahead and watch my live reaction on the two goals, including a Hugo Lloris center. Also, I just realized we're going to the stadium right after they stack their interim manager. And right after Tottenham had two results that did not go Aston Villa's way. <sighs> Come on, Tottenham. You could have literally lost the man you and beat Liverpool. Okay, I don't, I don't know. Let's just get in the stadium tour and let's see the stadium, guys. I don't think it's a rule that you're not allowed to visit another stadium if you don't support that team. Well, that shouldn't be a rule, right? We have a Tottenham experience. And we got the man who skied the... Penalty to Mars. We got Mr. One Goaler, let's go to Ollie Watkins. This is going to be hard to disguise as an Aston Villa fan in this is his first stadium tour. It's not going to be easy, guys. Last day you put, uh, they went to, I think they like asked us if we watched the or not. Uh, I guess I had to tell them the truth or something. Also, hopefully, a music don't get copyrighted. So, uh, sorry. We're going in, guys, the stadium tour. Yeah, unfortunately, we will not uh, see Daniel Levy on this tour. There we said that. There were seven lucky goals they got here a few. But um, I actually might get battered for being a Villa fan. Or, like, yeah. That's why like, that doesn't happen. So now we're going to see the dressing rooms and the lockers. We're in the stadium tunnel. Damn, Spurs has trophies. Never knew that. They even have three cabinets of trophies. That's, wow. Never thought I'd see that. I still don't see a Champions League though. Aston Villa got one. Come on, the Villa. You get this thing. Um, you join the tour. 
think about it. Also, go to the Tottenham Hotspur channel if you haven't. They did like a football soul cooking video here. I'll leave it in the description. A lot of time, fact, but it was a quite interesting video. So you would can. It was from like in this area. So now we pulled off the two trophies they have. We're now going upstairs to see uh, what there are to offer. Now these will be the premium seats if there were a game. Let's look at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium, shall we? Jeez. Look at the stadium. It's, it has a lot of seats, that's for sure. I wish there weren't those cranes there, but still it's very nice. It's the biggest stadium in London, I think. And there's a screen for any replays. The stadium's extremely big. Why well, do I have a feeling that, like the Pitch Toy Stadium, like that actual stadium, not the seats, it's a bit smaller than the Macau Stadium, but I'm not sure why. It's probably not though, I'm just being stupid. So this area is basically where like the rich people would sit, like or important people would sit. Like our Southgate, Daniel Levy, or like club legends and stuff. We're sitting by to the stadium itself, but we'll be uh, coming back to the stadium later in a more closer up look. Well, Tottenham has a lot of stadium food apparently. Told you we're not saying bye to the stadium, not just yet. We're here at the VIP seats. Do you think this is a restaurant? No, this is Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. I wish this was in Villa Park. That would be very special for Villa. We're going to the premium suite. Suite 217. Nice. Again, this looks like a normal bar. Nope, it's a football stadium. I'm, I'm still sure that Velo Stadium probably is a bit better than this, so I'm not sure. Time for the exciting part, the player journey. This is where like they get the man of the match interview, I think, I guess. So obviously, that's where you got the away dressing room and this is the home dressing room. The dressing room that Villa used when we beat you guys. Tottenham. We're walking into the dressing room. We got a lot of jerseys. Let me find the one that I want to see though. There we go. There we go. That's my team, guys. Aston Villa, we are. Obviously, I had to add some Aston Villa into it, so there we are. Aston Villa, my team. Now we're gonna see the top and side of things. We got the training area. Here we are. We got any players this jersey here. Diane. But Diane. We got the physio area. This is where the players eat, apparently. Uh, we're coming into where players coming into the game, guys. Um, this is the match. Imagine there was a game here. You would literally, literally be pitch tied. Wow. Let's go, guys. I'm touching grass right now. Look, I'm touching grass. And apparently it's steep. Not sure how that works. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's not steep when there's a match. Now we're looking into the NFL weight locker room. I also realized the videos are already kind of too long, so I'll try to shorten it up. Hey guys. Um. Yeah. I accidentally revealed that I'm a little fan. Not great. That's the media gallery. And that's the cafe. We're gonna sit down for some simple food. Just got some chips and fish rolls. And now in a snap of a finger, because we're running uh, bad on time. Three, two, one. We're going to be in a restaurant with my mom. Uh, we're actually not at a restaurant yet. Uh, but we're at the South Kensington Metro Station. So yeah, we're waiting to see which restaurant. Because we're a bit late. Very late. After that Tottenham tour. So settle down in the restaurant. Let me show you the food. Jesus Christ, the crab looks really nice. Here are the other crabs. This one looks really nice though. So guys, we're finished with our lunch, uh, and now we're going, heading to a very special place. Now we're going to the Natural History Museum, and obviously this video is very long, and you probably aren't interested in history type content, so I'm just gonna zoom past it by this montage. So guys, uh, to stop you there, we find a Venezuela embassy. That's very nice. Second embassy of the trip. Okay, now let's go to the montage.
end it. We're done with uh, the museum and look, another embassy. Can't see really uh, what that embassy is. No, I think the French embassy. Embassies galore, that's a Yemen, Ye Yemen embassy, sorry. We're here in Covent Garden and yeah, we're doing more shopping. Remember guys, we're still on the hunt for Prime. Update guys, we just... Uh, finished going to the London Transport Museum, only the tourism part, like the shopping part. Now we're just walking around to see what there is to buy and if anything interesting I'll show you. We're here at the Royal Opera House. We've just suddenly entered this bookstore. We're here to find Prime again. And no Prime. Chinatown looks absolutely sparked by the way. What the hell is this? I swear that Chinese New Year ended two months ago. My mom found what she wants. I don't know why, randomly, there's just a lot of pride flags around here. I don't know if you can see. That's one of many. Uh, those are also pride flags. And these. Yeah, I'm not sure why, but sure, guys, good. keep on going, I guess. Anyway, let's get dinner. Now we need to walk up to the second floor. Take some Chinese food, although I know it's not really famous food, but that was okay. So let me show you what we're eating. First few dishes, next few dishes. So guys, that is it for today's video. Sorry that's a bit too long. Um, it's just because the Tottenham tour was very fun, right? So that's it for today's videos. Tomorrow the school part will uh, start, so obviously I won't film the school part so I will try to fit as, as much content as possible that's it for today guys bye bye